resurrection. No donation, no salvation. And remember, respect is everything. And we're back. So this is going to be a quick, quick little update slash haul video. So yes, I'm sorry I haven't uploaded anything in quite a few days. Um, I apologize. For those here for the LEGO Transformers content, to give you an idea of how big this project's going to be, here's one of the arms. Yeah, this is a... Uh, we're not playing around here. This is going to be a big project. So here's one of the arms of one of the many figures for this multi-figure project. So... Again, I'm sorry it's taking so long, but just understand this is going to be a big set of figures. So, naturally, there's that's why I'm hyping this up a lot. So, just bear with me. Um, when it's done, it's done, and it will be awesome. Just trust me. And it'll be kind of fitting for the theme this year. But anyway, um, let's look at some uh, diecast cars I picked up recently. So, let's look at this first. Yeah, I got another 4 GT because I couldn't resist. I think this is the... Didn't Dan Gurney race one of these? Because I remember he had he was the same guy that raced that AAR Cuda that I'm really obsessed with, the the 1970 muscle car. Uh, didn't he race a car like this in this paint job? Or am I thinking of someone else? But I don't know. It's really cool. So now I got two of these. Um, I guess technically three if you count this one. <laughs> I, I love the vintage four GTs. So yeah, just thought I'd show that off. Also, while we're here, I also got this really awesome white line cassette because, uh, you know, I love cassettes and, uh, you know, my car actually still uses them, so it's kind of nice. And yes, the cassette's actually still in here. I don't know if it works, though, but I mean, it doesn't look like it's ever really been used, and I don't even think it's that old, honestly, but who knows? Uh, I'll just have to try that out. Anyway, uh, let's look at some Hot Wheels cars that I... Or, it's hard to say what's in here. It's just a mixed bag of random toy cars that I found at a thrift store. Oh, with savers for two dollars and forty nine cents. So I got like two fifty. Not bad. Brain new nuggets. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of Dank Pods, so if I start singing or saying weird things, that's why. Yeah, I actually already have one of these, but it's nice to have a second one um, because you know I just really like this particular car. Um, there's a little thing on the back. Oh well, it's gone now. Yeah, it's a cool car, and of course it's got a little battering ram, which is cool. There's actually, I think there was two of them in here. Ah, yes, there was two. One of them has the stickers applied. Although, I'm not going to lie, they did it a lot better than I did. The only sticker I'm not a fan of is this one up here, so I might have to take that one off or reapply it, because uh, it should be down here, but I don't think there's any saving that. I mean, I could try, but eh, we're going to leave it the way it is. We got, oh, well, they messed up that sticker the way I did, so that's funny. Yeah. I like the decals on this car, very tribal. Uh, I like tribal on muscle cars. I don't know why, it's just a weird thing of mine. So, I now have three of these, because I already had one before these two, so I'm probably going to paint this one, since this one has the cool stickers on it. So, let's go ahead and put those there. What else we got in here? Some kind of generic, really slammed Chevy Silverado, so, I don't know, I'll probably do something with that. It doesn't have the little motorcycle in the back, which is kind of nice, so I can actually probably do something cool with this, like maybe a lowrider build or something. Or... Something really crazy, a lifted truck build. Or if I want to be stupid, do a squatted truck build, but we're not we're not that level of degeneracy on this channel. Don't ever drive or build a squatted truck. They're really stupid. And they're incredibly illegal in some states, so keep that in mind. Got a cool little uh, ranchero with a Torino front end. Okay, that's kind of cool. We got, ooh, a Corvette. Um, one of the like race car versions. Wow, that yellow's throwing off the white balance. Everything looks kind of blue now. Okay, sorry if you get you see the fuzzy lines. That's just the only way I can look at this correctly. For those wondering, I use LEDs for my lighting, so that's why you probably see all these fuzzy lines, because I don't think my phone has the ability to adjust the shutter speed, because it's just a crappy, cheap Samsung J7. Um, this looks like some kind of crazy... Um, well, it would have been a helicopter. And some weird... Like... SUV thing. I don't know. Let's go back to the, to the blue LEDs, or the cool white, as it's called. There we go. That's better. I would use this one, but unfortunately, um, this is the only one that shows up decently on camera. I don't know why. It's just a weird problem I have. I mean, I don't know. If you guys don't mind the fuzzy wavy effect, I mean, I can keep that in. Just, you know, kind of matches the whole Miami kind of 80s theme we got going on here. Anyway, uh, what do we got here? So we got another Pontiac Firebird, but in black. Now, I'm actually excited for this one because I have a red one and like a kind of metallic green one. I don't have a black one, so 
that's kind of nice. Oh yeah, that is totally a black firebird. And I'm not going to lie, I love it. Like, I'm starting to really grow on this era of Firebirds and Camaro. And uh, I really like the rear hatchback window. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. That's nice. A another Pontiac Grand Am. So I guess it's like the broke boy version of the Trans Am. It is what it is. Oh, that's, that's actually a cool looking car. Let's look at it under different lighting. You see, I would go with this more normal, like, kind of, like, normal lighting, but... You, you can see the fuzzy lines. I don't know. Maybe I should do that for, for the cars, though, just because uh kind of gives it that old-school look. Yeah, otherwise, I would use this color normally because then it makes the palm trees in the back easier to see. But, I mean, again, I can only do so much with this cheapo, crappy phone camera because the actual camera's good. It's just it doesn't have a lot of features. Uh, this is another Monte Carlo, which I have a black one. I really like this blue one with the white vinyl in the back. That looks really cool. I like the two-tone on that. I love the blue. At least the blue comes up real good on camera. Oh, man, that is a nice car. And let's give it the old-school effect, because why not? Yeah. Got that VHS effect going. At least that's what it looks like on my phone camera. But, again, it, I can only do so much about it, but it's whatever. The Valor Roadrunner. This looks like some kind of weird rebodied commuter car from like Australia or something. I don't know. I'm not familiar with this particular car. But, I mean, it looks cool. I don't know if I already have this one though. I feel like I do, but I don't remember. It's cool though. It's got a red interior, which is kind of cool. Yeah, this is definitely the lighting setup to go with so i mean i don't know i guess we'll just have to put up with the fuzzy lines until i get a better camera or an actual camera other than my phone because again that's the problem with these cheapo budget samsung phones is you can't really adjust things like shutter speed and all that otherwise i wouldn't get this wavy looking weird video effect that it's got going on here anyway again i'm sorry things have been so delayed i just been trying to stay on top of things and make sure all my projects are up to speed so again, I'm sorry if things are kind of falling behind here um, and things seem a little rushed. It's just because I, I don't like leaving the channel without content, but I don't like rushing my projects either. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, I'll see you all in the next one and uh, have a good one. Hallelujah! Another soul saved!